так, ну, вроде бы нас... So, seems like uh, you can see here as perfectly well. Um, so, guys, we are online. Today we have some good news uh, to share. We have an anniversary today, anniversary of our company, of our project, and we will be talking about that today. My name is Paolo Filipov. I am responsible for advertising and public relations. I am joined by Sergei Semenov, uh, general director of Solo Group, and today we will be talking about uh, everything you usually talk about in the chat, uh, in your comments. We keep track of that, and I would like to to say that I read a big number of chats and I have to respond there. Sometimes you start responding and then correspondence starts. But um, usually in live broadcast, uh, we usually comment on everything. So uh, today, uh, I mean, uh, well, we decided to, to dedicate this webinar to our anniversary. Today, we're celebrating seven years of a solo group. And in case you don't know, on the 27th of May, May 2000. Uh, when was it? At the very end of May, uh, we accomplished the first payment a transaction, and it was like an uh, um, investment, uh, Mr. Duyunov, and we decided, so the anniversary of the company, uh, well, it will be at the beginning of uh, June, uh, then because we started to start uh, working actively. Just in case you don't know, even though that the project was meant for three years and we are celebrating seven years, there is quite something special about that, uh, but it's better to have uh, a long-term but accomplished project uh, rather than a short-term uh, short project that failed. So all the employees of Solo Group, all our investors, our partners, I would like to congratulate you on uh, this uh, date. I think that amongst you, there are a lot of people who have been with us from the very beginning uh, uh, and uh, those who transferred money, uh, as we like to joke about about it uh, to my account. Uh, I'm happy that most employees who started to work with us from the very beginning, they are still working with us uh, today. We don't have any kind of staff volatility and I'm really happy. Uh, well, right now we have approximately 100 people, yes, official employees, a little bit less um, than that. Uh, right now, as for people working for us, uh, uh, responsible for infrastructure and attracting investment, uh, the number of such people is 100. Uh, not to count our national representatives, our leaders, active leaders who are developing us uh, throughout the world. We looked at statistics with Pasha. We have approximately 20,000 people who, together with us, uh, got some profit, uh, referral uh, payments. Um, so this is a scale that we managed to create together with you. We really got uh, united and we managed uh, to build uh, factory. And uh, as for today's webinar, it will be dedicated to this issue. Uh, we will take a look at the current situation uh, and um, we will a look at uh, the main figures, the main uh, dates, uh, the main uh, landmark points, uh, current stage. Uh, I think I will start with this. I will say a few words about finances. Do you remember colleagues in January? We discussed our current intermediate goal uh, that is, was announced at stage 19. And in January, we agreed uh, with Mr. Duyunov uh, that within uh, six months, we'll transfer to him 600 million people, million ruble. And I would like to congratulate us. We managed to collect uh, this sum, but we haven't transferred that yet. So we have some problem. So uh, it's the 5th of June. And as of today, we transferred to solar mash 439 million rubles at the same time 60 million rubles right now uh, is uh, being um, they, um, uh, transferred and we have uh, more than 100 million rubles ready for transfer so i would say that we already have the 600 million ruble of course we do have some problems uh, also with money transfer 
uh, and something that does not depend on us. Uh, those uh, who work with international banking transactions know that uh, in the world right now uh, there are um, some issues and problems. Uh, uh, payment structures uh, have uh, changed, uh, and the ways um, uh, that we used to receive uh, money to our company that not very convenient, and they require some time, some finances, uh, and it takes a lot of effort uh, to transfer to Mr. Do you know, so anniversary, very good news. Let's uh, better that in mind, so to speak. Uh, so first, uh, we do something and then we celebrate it. But you should know that money is ready because uh, I have seen some chaos in the chat saying, oh, my God, uh, we are talking about such big sums, but they not transferred, etc. Yes, we know that. Uh, but uh, I hope that we all going to have such problems when you have a lot of money but the only issue that you cannot transfer it very quickly so we managed to do that uh, we are very successful in terms of uh, our staff in terms of our progress so just think about uh, uh, january when we were supposed uh, uh, to grow in size by two times we said that in order to accomplish our financial plan so we should take uh, the current results that we had in november and december and they were serious um, anyway we um, Back then, didn't know how we were supposed to do that. Uh, uh, well, uh, but uh, sometimes it so happens when you, um, you know, when we have a team or when we have intentions, when we are ready. Uh, well, we managed to get such results. So we're really close to it. And now let's proceed to real figures. Uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, real things. Uh, we will see what we uh, can um, talk about in reality right now. So it's going to be our foundation. Well, thank you very much, Sergey, for covering this issue. In fact, people are very much concerned about that. Uh, and I think that you have already shared uh, quite a few details regarding this issue. And now let's proceed to the results uh, year by year. Uh, we accumulated some statistics uh, for different years, uh, main statistics, and also statistics for 2024. So we see some dynamics uh, everything is transparent open and now let's take a look at this um, the first thing registration in a personal uh, cabinet or account and uh, then the at the very end we will share uh, one very important secret for you we wanted to do it some time ago but for some time we postponed it and we keep postponing it but just know that at the end of statistics we will share some very interesting secrets you intrigued us so let's proceed to registration uh, we have overcome a very landmark point in our personal accounts now platform over 500 a thousand people have been registered these are people from different uh, countries i don't know whether there is any country where we don't have people registered and everyone knows that we have this kind of activities and a lot of people ask us what makes does it make sense to have this kind of registration every when we have investors but also there are participants who support the projects they haven't invested but they know about us so the interesting technologies uh, you we can cooperate with uh, mr lobo for iris but still be within our information field and keep a very close eye on our technologies so then sometimes it takes them time to take decisions especially when it comes to big investors uh, during the previous uh, webinar we said that we have a lot of investors right now big investors uh, who think uh, a lot before investing but they do it and our results right now are better than uh, a year ago as for registrations you can see it right now in the screen uh, it's quite uh, stable and uh, this year uh, we are supposed to have more registrations so within five months uh, 30,000 registration uh, but it's really good um, it's not the main indicator but take a look at the, the months uh, April was a breakthrough over 10,000 people got registered and uh, uh, it is a contribution of the partner
Maybe that was a successful campaign or whatever. We can see that the project is developing. You remember that uh, we also shared some good news this month. It could also generate some interest uh, for the project. Uh, now, speaking about investors, the situation is a little bit different. We are very close to the figure of uh, 70,000 investors. These are people who invested, who bought a particular investment uh, package. And here you can see the dynamics. You can see that, for example, in 2023, the number of investors uh, is uh, twice as bigger than in 2022, but in 2019, when the project was only launched, uh, so back then we became residents of Solar Marsh, a special economic zone, and uh, there were a lot of good news. And this year, we also are moving uh, steadily, over 4,000 investors for 2024. Uh, that's the number of registered um, in this year. And everything is quite stable. So as for in statistics for months, you can see on the screen in March, by the way, in April, we have the biggest number of registration, but so there is no direct correlation. The big number of investors, in fact, was in March, over 1,000 uh, people. So they joined us um, as investors. And then we proceed to the most interesting things. And here you can see that uh, uh, they do not uh, correlate with investors. Uh, well, um, for example, we have grown at a certain stage, um, 2019, 2020, and so we have a threshold of uh, a bit more than $10 million per year's investment. That's how we attracted in rubles. Uh, some were different uh, back then. The dollar was 55, and 2023, 2024, it was more than 100 rubles. Uh, so uh, that was in dollars. So that's why we show it. Um, uh, in uh, dollars, but we also demonstrated that in rubles. So 2023, we have already talked about that. Uh, well, we should really be proud of that. Uh, 2023 uh, was a breakthrough year for us, and it was a breakthrough because a lot of existing investors started again to support the projects. They uh, expanded their installments. So they did a lot. So that's a very good indicator, which tells us that people do not get disappointed, that they continue to invest when they have such an opportunity and they support the project uh, when uh, uh, project uh, is um, like this 2024 uh, five months have already passed uh, up to the end of my and may and you can see that it's already at uh, this level that it was uh, during the previous years all the previous years uh, we can see that we have already overcome the threshold of $10 million, uh, but we haven't attained to the threshold of last year. But considering the current dynamics, we will definitely do this. So what Sergey said right now, um, he, um, about this uh, data. So here we have a figure for 2017. Your attention, please. So here is some is less than a million dollars. And at some conference, we have already demonstrated and said that actually the sum for 2017, it was approximately $2 million. And so where did we get to this difference? As you know, uh, that was launched even without uh, personal accounts. And um, um, well, it was transferred to money, I mean, to Sergei Semenov and other settlement accounts with all the resources that we had back then. And uh, the database uh, um, and the personal accounts cannot see this information because there were, they didn't exist back then. That is why we share this statistics and statistics in the roadmap. These sums are not quite correct. You can see the sum that can be found in the database. If you take also the, um, uh, the other sums and uh, I mean, uh, information that we have in the accounting office, it will be a little bit different. It's not gonna affect anything or make a great difference, but I just want you to have this information that uh, could uh, be really accurate. So I think that we should stick to one uh, figure just to avoid any kind of chaos as uh, well. You know, the uh, certain sometimes uh, girls, uh, when uh, you want to replenish your account to add some finances, etc. Sometimes you can get perplexed. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, right now, uh, 
uh, you can see that so here we have a certain growth. April probably was not as successful in March, so it is um, stands out. Uh, but why does it happen? It happens uh, due to a number of factors. And one of the main factors is that we really, just like never before, very close to the end of financing. Um, and uh, very often uh, together with Mr. Duyunov, from Mr. Duyunov, we receive information that we are actively moving to this main events, uh, for example, putting a commissioning and putting into operation. And of course, uh, investors like it, so they understand um, either it's either today or tomorrow and they invest now um, and here. Of course, all the partners continue to work, uh, and uh, we have a big number of uh, webinars, conferences, and every day we're trying to be better. We introduce new analytics, new metrics, just to see what be the best way to work, uh, or what kind of uh, marketing campaigns we can talk about, so which works and so which one don't work um, um no one just sits around uh, waiting no we are working we are working because we all know and we remember after completion and after the end of financing for this project we plan to finance the next project and then so we have just talked about how to add money to your account, but also let's talk about money transferred to so Sovomash. You know the statistics, uh, because Sovomash publishes it officially in official Telegram, and Mr. Duinov in the chat also shares this uh, information. And uh, you can see, for example, um, the information from Solar Group in dollars, because we receive uh, usually money in dollars, and investors also invest in dollars. Uh, as for money transferred to Sovomash, you can see figures here. And again, just uh, for you to understand that uh, sometimes I can see some calculations, people write whether it was a lot or not, uh, they recalculate it in different uh, uh, currencies, but um, you understand that uh, interest rate, uh, exchange rate for the dollar is not stable, and, uh, well, and some people say, okay, the interest rate uh, or exchange rate is 100, so, oh, well, you know, but uh, right now it is 80 and it's a 15 percent difference. And the information that you can see right now in uh, dollars, uh, this is uh, um, some in rubles that was transferred. Uh, uh, and actually, the exchange rate is fixed uh, during the moment of the transfer. Of course, it is available in rubles, but this is just to break up, to have an objective picture. You can see this uh, sums um, in uh, May, for example. Uh, this year, we hit the record. I don't know whether it's records um, throughout uh, the whole existence of the project, but so uh, definitely a record for 2024. And I think Sergey has already mentioned, so he mentioned $154 million, um, and another 60 were supposed to be transferred. Uh, um, so it's actually uh, uh, they uh, were transferred, uh, but uh, they have not yet reached their recipients. Uh, but we are working on that. Uh, of course, uh, if uh, we uh, have accomplished it in May, then of course it uh, would have uh, um, affected this uh, figure. It uh, would be would have been sent so much. But we hope that in June, in July, it will be done. Not to mention 100 uh, million that are uh, ready to be transferred to Sovomash. Uh, actually, honestly speaking, just in case you don't understand uh, what changed, uh, Sergey says there are some problems in banking service. Um, well, I think that if you read about that, you understand uh, what kind of uh, cross-border money transfer problems we have. We're not the only one who um, is exposed to such issues. Uh, um, but, uh, well, we're not the only one. But we're searching for ways out just like uh, anyone before, anyone else. Uh, of course, we will be um, finding uh, this uh, ways out so we'll be working on that, but apparently uh, money will be transferred and everything will be okay. So that is about uh, money transfer to Sovomash. Uh, then speaking about statistics, 
as linked to strong the, uh, countries. So these are top uh, uh, countries, uh, uh, top countries in terms of the number of investors. So we can see uh, the results uh, for each country. So uh, we have um, uh, 67,000 um, um, investors. We have a big number of them from India, uh, well, almost uh, well, 16 something, and from Russia, 11 and a half. Uh, then uh, Vietnam is there. And then you can see in the list some other countries. I would like to thank uh, partner companies uh, uh, working with us, um, national representatives, and all those uh, who never stayed indifferent. And they have been working on these results. And just uh, speaking about uh, situations when you want to add up to your account, to replenish your account, situation is a little bit different. Uh, well, Russia is in the leading position. It's a real leader. So I would say that uh, Russia accounts uh, for 40% of all the investments. So uh, um, I would talk um, of 84 million, uh, uh, power 34, a little bit less than investment uh, was uh, done from Russia. Uh, but at the same time, Russia is um, better here than Vietnam, India, in terms of investors. This is number one, but in terms of investment, number three. Well, anyway, um, this um, uh, trinity is well ahead of other countries, and uh, now you can see this top 10 countries. Uh, well, and just um, to inform you, we have a lot of uh, visitors uh, from uh, other countries, uh, so 520 uh, different uh, people watching us from different countries so 230 people watching us 270 people watching us right now on youtube uh, these are our people from russia uh, those who speak russian and 520 uh, foreigners uh, they watch us uh, watching us in zoom we have uh, provided for simultaneous interpretation and they can listen to interpretation just to inform our foreign participants. The presentation is in Russian, but it will be translated uh, into your local language and at certain webinars or meetings so we will uh, take a look at this uh, statistics again so that you can understand everything because it's really interesting. Since we started to talk about audience, I'm asking you to send your likes, uh, to repost, uh, and remember that it's really important. It always works. Um, this is uh, the most uh, interesting part uh, of our social media. Here you can understand how you can uh, boost the number of uh, visitors uh, at webinar and uh, to create a potential flow of investors. Um, and if you can do it, do it right now. If you have chat, chat with your friends or some working chat. Uh, no, I think that's not a good idea. But where it is OK, just send them this link so that they can join uh, and uh, I'm sure that this information could uh, really interest them. This is what we had for figures and the last but not the least, not the last actually. We, uh, yes, also we want to uh, take a look at the comparison and the final figure that um, also ask us about is the number of uh, investment uh, shares. So very slowly we're moving to the share number of shares, and if, I mean, uh, 50 million shares. And I think that in the near future, we will be able to overcome this uh, threshold. So this situation that we have right now with the shares, now speaking about uh, non-paid uh, shares, approximately 8 billion shares right now are in installments. I would like to highlight that these are the investment shares. Uh, that uh, are in non-cancelled uh, uh, installments that people will pay for um, uh, later. I would like to highlight that this sum is um, really smaller than the paid in um, the shares. Uh, and some people are really concerned about that. And let's say once uh, 50 million have been paid and we have like 100 in non-paid, no, it's not the case. So nowadays that's what it looks like. So then uh, speaking about uh, this uh, comparison, uh, figures, um, well, it's not very easy to digest them and when you don't have to compare them with something. 
you cannot understand whether it's good or bad. So let's take a look at the first months of the previous year, and let's take a look at the current year, 2024. Number of investors, you can see that last January, number of investors was higher, but if you take a look at February, March, April, and May, this year, we hit an absolute record. You can see that in February, for example, 2024, uh, we had um, three times more investors, almost 900 people against 313 in 2023. And uh, uh, the same thing in March, in April, in May, almost uh, twice as more, uh, more investors uh, than in previous years. It's a great result so that we should pay attention to. If we take a look at how much money we receive through payment systems, so then every month in 2024, uh, we did better than in 2023. And actually, the gap is really colossal. For example, March, almost three times more. That's the difference. It was uh, 1 million 100, and uh, this year it's almost 3 million. It's also the case uh, for May. So this year, much more investments uh, were um, attracted. The only amounts that is more or less compatible, approximately 15 20%, so that's in April. But in April 2023, we had uh, a very powerful uh, campaign. We had a lottery, we organized it, first lottery ever, and so there was a real, uh, well, I don't know, it was a real breakthrough, a real sensation, and people liked it. Uh, but uh, this year in April, nothing special happened except for the fact that the project uh, continued to move in the right direction. And in general, I would like to say that uh, all these results that we talk about in 2024, uh, we um, did not achieve it uh, with the help of uh, some campaigns uh, or promotions or some incredible discounts. The only thing we do is uh, uh, um, for uh, payments uh, of installments. And so investors uh, collectively agree with that. Everyone understands why it is done. And today it's more important to get money uh, now and here, maybe with a smaller discount rather than to get this uh, amount in a year or two. And if investor has such an opportunity, then it is great. Um, then it will be interesting for everyone and good. And so last statistics. These are the money transfers that belongs to Sovomash. Again, you can see that in January, uh, so it was uh, three times uh, bigger. It is in dollars, in rubles. Honestly speaking, I don't know what the exchange rate was. That's why in rubles it might be a little bit uh, different. So uh, in March, uh, there was also a serious difference as well as May. Maybe this picture is not very relevant, and many people assess how months have come. Uh, well, anyway, uh, this month uh, money should be transferred. So, well, it, but it does work like this: it's the uh, third of thirty-first uh, of May, and all the money should be transferred. It doesn't work like this. We have a lot of companies, a lot of um, invoices, invoices, etc. It takes a lot of time. You need also to cooperate with banks, uh, and uh, banks are very careful uh, with all the uh, banking operations. And when uh, companies turn over, grows up, you immediately get interested in uh, reasons to that. So why it has grown so much? So we're working on that. It's like Sergey said, these are quite, um, so to speak, pleasant problems, and we will definitely tackle them. So that is it regarding main figures. There is uh, some important information, and I don't remember whether we talked about it in the general webinar, but uh, we changed the jurisdiction of the company. As you remember, our company, Solo Group, uh, was uh, uh, um, uh, moved to Komoda, and so uh, we uh, said that we would announce it officially with the license as soon as we get it. We did it, uh, and so now we are demonstrating it, and we would like to explain why it was done. I would like uh, uh, to tell you why we got registered there in the offshore in a new location. Because we knew that uh, um, you know, our project was going to be international from the very beginning, and all these transactions and the licenses for financial operations, etc. Not everyone has it, uh, and um, well, uh, uh, and uh, you know, it uh, took a lot of finances and resources uh, to do all that. And banks, uh, they usually 
look differently, different financial operations. So we decided to register it uh, in Nuato or in offshore. We got special um, uh, license uh, there. Um, so, by the way, uh, what is the situation right now? Um, so here you have to understand the, this old company that's a, a new one. I mean, this is just a, a new jurisdiction. So we only change the jurisdictions. For example, if you have a company that was registered in Moscow and now it's registered in St. Petersburg, it's like that. We only talk here about different countries. This license allows us to continue our work, but also it allows us to work with stock exchange. They were not going to talk that much about that, but uh, all our plans uh, well, we do have it, and, but so far we haven't uh, launched it and we're waiting for the end of uh, financement. We want to make sure that everything is ready for work. Everything has been built because it's for internal stock exchange and it's um, set up um, connected to a big number of difficulties uh, starting from our control virus uh, that can examine this process uh, as a process of some illegal uh, financial operations uh, and also they could uh, really um, do something bad. It could also create some hyper competition uh, for what we actually sell right now and it could affect our shares. So it could uh, really uh, well, we'll just uh, be affected. Uh, but people more or less understand what kind of potential problems could await us. Uh, that's why we are not touching it right now. We are not breaking it. We are getting ready for that. For sure, we will do it. And as you know, we are launched the process of uh, preparing uh, for uh, stakeholding, so we launched it in our personal account. Right now, but uh, we call it a little bit differently, just for you to understand. Um, so uh, we need to think more clearly about uh, awarding. Uh, uh, when we talk about what monetization, uh, we need uh, to be really picky about uh, the words. So we think about the term, better terms to do it, and, and to send uh, your comments if uh, you have any ideas. Right now, we talk about uh, it uh, as ways uh, to obtain uh, different uh, shares. Uh, right now, um, um, if you really want uh, to be one of the shareholders, uh, uh, become it, uh, then you can do it. We developed a special mechanism and it will be launched for Russian citizens in this year. Uh, so um, we reflect it uh, differently. Uh, again, I would talk about uh, corporatization, uh, joint um, transformation into joint stock company. Corporatization, yes. Uh, but anyway, no matter how you call it, you know what we're talking about. So this is a slow process. Very soon uh, we will uh, generate some statistics as to how many people actually uh, uh, became shareholders, etc. This is quite a standard procedure. We stick to the plan. I would like also to add that this license uh, also allows not uh, to create internal uh, stock exchange, but also uh, to uh, allow us uh, to um, also manage them. Shares. So in future, every investor will be able either to exchange their shares, so a group of four shares and so a solar group, and so thus leave the infrastructure of a solar group. Or also the person can keep the share, but in this situation, solo group as a legal entity uh, will be uh, stimulating investor with the help of uh, uh, the shares, but only things uh, that uh, will be asked by investor. Uh, for example, solo group will be able to sell the shares so or hand them over to somebody after a special order from investor. New license, a new company also allows us to do that, uh, which opens a lot of new opportunities for us. Thinking about uh, that, uh, so we said in June, we are going to launch uh, um, uh, Russia. 
Um, I think that uh, is, if everything is okay, then I think that in June we'll be able to open a, a big number of other countries. I think that we'll start with the main countries, so India, Vietnam, where we have the biggest number of uh, people. And these investors will also be able to uh, be taken to register if they specify what they're interested in. Uh, either they want to get uh, personal request to get shares so, or do something else. And then some more information regarding our plan. So we had a plan for six months, and I would like to remind you how it was discussed right now. There is such a thing, and Dmitry Sanovich discussed that uh, as uh, um, uh, uh, works that have been reflected in the breakdown sheet. Uh, so in the framework of this long-term goals, uh, we uh, come up with some sprints. Right now, we're not, we don't have the final sums, but we have such a thing as a uh, um, a breakdown of balance sheet, uh, etc. And in those documents, uh, we reflect uh, our ideas in line with the plan. And um, uh, so here we talk about a period up to June of the year, this six months. And so we decided to take this screen. Uh, next month will be uh, announced uh, next um, month. Uh, um, so then we also proceed to commissioning, you remember. So uh, the sum will be announced. I think that it's going to be a six months sprint. And I don't know it yet. But just remember, as we agreed to that right now, that's exactly how we're working. But at the same time, uh, the main goal is quite uh, clear anyway. In the near future, it will happen. I mean, uh, the most important task right now is uh, uh, to commission uh, uh, the um, plans. Uh, and of course, it will take the project uh, to a new level. And it's very likely that with that, also, uh, we uh, will see a change in the investment uh, uh, stage. So we will proceed uh, from stage 19 uh, and not to stage 20, but to the final stage. Indeed, it will be the final financing stage uh, for the project, and it will be different from what we have. And here I would like to invite Sergei Shevchenko. Sergei, if you hear me, please uh, join the Zoom. Uh, Sergey, um, so if you don't mind, uh, please tell us more about the final stage and tell us uh, how you see that, uh, how you uh, think about this. I, um, I know that long ago you visited again construction site of Solo Marsh. So tell us what you saw there, what kind of changes you have seen. Dynamics is really fast and it would be nice to know more about your emotions. Alexey, please help us uh, to do it where we could uh, hear everyone and Sergey as well. I don't know where the sound comes from. So, friends, we are having some technical issue and some echoes. Well, thanks God, we only have issues with um, uh, technical stuff. Well, we have organized, been organizing webinars for a good many years, but still, but still, there is sometimes an issue. We are waiting. What should we do? Serious, we cannot hear you. So I'm trying just to figure it out what I should do with the help of uh, uh, the instruments that I have. Maybe I could enter the meeting using my. I'll try to figure out. So we can do it uh, through Alexei and we will fix this issue. Uh, 
Let's give it a try, Sergei Shevchenko say something so that I can understand uh, whether I can hear you or not. Sergey, oh, Sergey, great, we can hear you. Dear visitors and dear guests, so if you uh, can see and hear us and Sergey, then we can continue. Yes, Pasha, thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me the floor and tell me, uh, uh, telling me that I can talk about uh, the final stage and also uh, everything that is related to that. So I think that this is a really landmark thing and so not everyone understands it, but judging from the communication with investors, apparently it's really important. Uh, and uh, uh, well, uh, looking at the horizon that we had and thinking, so everybody thought that during the startup and commissioning of the enterprise, we were not supposed to finance that. And uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Duinov said, Yes, and so uh, yes, you know, we had it on the paper, but uh, somehow we lost it on our way to the final stage. So everyone says that there is a strong echo and it's not possible to hear you properly. I can see just some comments. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to understand how to fix it. We just want to make sure, Sergey, that we can hear you really well. So I think that the audience cannot hear you perfectly well. Yes, I cannot use only gestures. I have to speak up if I... We want to make sure that everybody can hear you perfectly well. So what can we do right now? Uh, Alexei says that for some reason we cannot hear Sergey. We can, we can try to do it in the following way. We can ask everyone to switch to Zoom, but I don't think that it's going to be okay. But in Zoom we can hear you perfectly well. I don't know, by the way, Sergey, whether you can hear us. Well, I can hear you perfectly well. So there is only a problem with the YouTube, but at Zoom everything is okay. I'm sorry. I just need to take off, unfortunately. Okay. Colleagues, unfortunately, um, I have to take off. Um, Pavel will answer your question and really happy that we have so many participants today so okay one minute break um, we will uh, let sergey go we will uh, connect uh, the second sergey i don't know whether you can hear me now Yes, 
столкнулись. Первое, мы столкнулись с тем, что он не готов выходить на университет. О чем я хочу сказать, что в Сергей, can you hear me? If yes, then you can start or at least try to. So let's make sure that uh, people can hear me on YouTube as well. Oh, well, that's, uh, I don't know, well, there is technical difficulty, but people are saying that there is an echo. So, seems like people can hear you. So, we can hear, I can see uh, also a person here in the chat. Uh, who is now in the United States. I still support this project. Maria Jouja says that uh, everything is okay with the sound. Oh, it seems like everyone can hear us perfectly well. And can you hear me? I can see you very well and hear you, but it was said that you have an echo. Okay, I'm ready to answer your questions, if any. So it's true that uh, uh, this year, I've been to Solo Marsh several times, and I finally managed to do that because I wanted to, to meet our Vietnamese group. I wanted to communicate to them. They had some questions regarding investment, and I was happy to answer them. And so they came from Vietnam uh, on purpose in order to see what was happening with so much. That's why I went there with them. And there were a lot of interesting things. Dmitry Sanovich also shared a lot of interesting things personally. And um, as for this visit of the Vietnamese group, uh, what I memorized uh, better than anything else uh, is that there was a person who has a lot of money some industrial lands and also willingness to build a production uh, wow well, he wanted to work with some kind of electric uh, engines or motors uh, vietnamese people are they quite interesting um, you know sometimes you get a feeling that uh, they are more romantic uh, than we are and that they have this uh, warm feelings uh, for um, soviet technologies and what previously happened here back in soviet times and they really have a desire to support that. That's what I really memorized, um, except for what really happened uh, yeah, and changed in Sovomarsh so quickly. But then I also visited Sovomarsh and a very famous person, journalist from Switzerland, uh, came to us because he wanted to cover our activities in his works and he wanted to, to see with his own eyes what was happening. And I even managed uh, to help uh, uh, the content department uh, media holding of Alexandra Sudarev uh, from uh, first floor to the so-called uh, fishbowl uh, to second floor to a special premises uh, that um, had been repaired. Uh, and uh, so I helped uh, them with this uh, process and just uh, moved some things. And um, Mitri Sanch with his uh, bloggers and operators 
uh, was uh, there. And I remember how he turned back and said, could you someone help us with lifting things upstairs? <laughs> that was really interesting. But, you know, I just want to say that some of Masha is really getting more and more beautiful. I can see a high level of finishing works in uh, uh, the um, rooms. Uh, I really like the style. And I understand what's all about and why it's happening. You know, people who come over and do it for negotiations, they understand from the very beginning why it happens. Uh, so everything is well thought and everything uh, corresponds to what uh, they do. Uh, I should say that uh, when I come to the territory, I am already understood that, um, understand immediately that I'm in a serious um, company and uh, they uh, do not uh, work there for just one dollar. So it's more about luxury, it's more about good approach. Uh, there is still, of course, a lot of work ahead, but uh, if have you seen uh, this big storage with uh, ventilation systems and uh, how uh, it is now being uh, uh, processed, uh, that's really great. Some pictures have been shared, uh, so it's difficult to imagine how much, uh, how many efforts were put into that, uh, just uh, to assemble everything in this premises so quickly. Yeah, this is uh, just uh, about my impressions, I mean, what I've seen there in Stovo Mash. I really liked it, that was beautiful and uh, nice. Uh, some serious people were coming over. Speaking about the final stage, it's true that uh, we are in a unique situation. Uh, we are proceeding to the final stage of um, financing. And um, indeed, uh, uh, we don't mean to just uh, collect investment after the engineering center uh, will have uh, been put into commission and will start working on commercial orders. A lot of things are being changed and being corrected. You know perfectly well that right now, Sobovomash plans uh, to uh, produce, for example, some things. Uh, um, uh, we have uh, different uh, models right now and certificates for that and equipment that uh, was also used in China for the first uh, consignment and needs to be assembled in the near future. This equipment has already been taken to a solo machine, has been set up and tuned in as soon as it uh, it was finished uh, and it will be taken to the trade network so much will proceed to the assembly process uh, and so uh, we'll be working with approximately 1.5 million units per year that's a serious business uh, not to mention that we do it uh, in order to attract uh, some very serious players on the um, um, market of electric devices uh, who will be willing to uh, work with that um, at quite a high price and be proud of that. Uh, of course, uh, we get uh, some uh, means and some funds. Uh, why did I manage, uh, mention that? So it's just for you to understand that uh, a couple of years ago, well, of course, uh, right now we can say that the project takes a bit longer than expected, but we never thought that, uh, well, uh, uh, we never thought that uh, when we have launched an engineering center, it will start to produce instruments and devices. But uh, this change that requires additional investments, yes, it is the case. On the other hand, Dmitry Sanich, uh, that the program expert time told us many times that so that is just to the benefit of investors because uh, that will be faster and so there will be more dividends and that was quite a quotation of him from him as sergey Semenov said today yes it takes a bit longer and maybe it's a bit more expensive uh, the rules of games are changes but it's better than if, for example compared to where we uh, would uh, have got stuck if we raised our hands up and said okay we failed okay a pandemic played a role we understand that uh, and so we never managed to fit in the framework of that we had from the very beginning but it's not the reason not to finish the project we're going to have the final stage and the way i see it uh, we're going to have it in order to finish financing of the project but in order to do that uh, uh, we need to, to make summary there and we can only do it after the engineering center has been commissioned 
it will start work on commercial orders. And at this point, so both uh, Sergei Semenov and Mr. Duyunov will get an opportunity to completely uh, summarize uh, the um, activities and to make a conclusion regarding where we are right now and how many funds we have we need to, on top of that so what we have right now in installments uh, we need to understand whether we have uh, um, enough and sufficient uh, dynamics uh, to uh, redeem that uh, and uh, this uh, money probably also uh, will uh, be partially needed to uh, be needed uh, to buy some additional equipment probably it will be the case but in order to take any decision uh, we need uh, to commission a uh, solo mash uh, this project uh, and uh, to understand what we'll do uh, next we need to have uh, a big picture in order to move forward at the final stage we should clearly understand where we will go and uh, how uh, we should launch our business and what would be correct way to do uh, uh, that in terms of marketing right now in the company I'm responsible for development of partnership network, if we can call it this way. And um, I have to expose myself to different situations. And I also have to think how we'll be attracting investors tomorrow, because I think uh, selling investment shares at stage 19 and uh, the final stage is more interesting for us than to give old investors uh, to pay installments. So me, as a current uh, investor uh, of the project, uh, well, it is something that is more interesting uh, for me. Those who are acting much uh, slower with that, so no need to pay, Probably you're going to have uh, worse discourse, but uh, you will have less shares because new investors will come over and so we will enter the projects under different conditions. And why do you think they will do it? Because um, conditions are really unique. Uh, uh, well, engineering center of Sovomash will be uh, put into operation. It is um, was built at the expense of micro investors. Uh, well, money is there. And in such a different situation that we had in the world, still oh, they made it so much. Maybe with some losses, with some difficulties, but still they did it. Uh, and um, still, so much, still need some time to collect some money for uh, the turnover uh, to buy land uh, and uh, to also transform it into um, a um, joint stock company also uh, put uh, some assets to uh, the uh, balance uh, emit uh, um, shares it uh, takes time uh, and uh, money uh, money and uh, time uh, that's a great opportunity for any normal investor who had doubts about our potential success due to different reasons and uh, who were afraid to support it probably something really was going to fail we never knew that so, but here we can see that that everything is okay, business has launched, but as for emission of the shares, uh, it could be problematic up to the point when the assets of uh, the shares uh, should be assessed by the market based on the customers that we are going to have. But you understand who I'm talking about, uh, who listens to Dmitry Alexandrovich very um, um, attentively. We know that we um, have really uh, serious um, customers. There will be new customers and new orders. You know, there is such a word as belief belief in the enterprise uh, in uh, its um, profitability and its goals uh, it can do a lot of things about uh, quotations uh, in the markets there are a lot of examples to that uh, when uh, there are some really under, uh, underestimated and overestimated companies so that's why every investor serious investor will be able to make a certain choice and understanding that uh, there are no risks involved with the money uh, and uh, yes uh, uh, well, if uh, apparently investors see that there is no risk, probably I will earn uh, later or earlier, but uh, I invest money in real business that uh, uh, has not yet emitted shares before even uh, the market assessed this business. That is why I think that it's really good. It's um, really good for marketing. And if... Uh, 
if you told uh, your friends about Sobol Marshall, the project previously, and uh, people uh, were saying that you were crazy. Uh, for some reason, there is uh, such a paradox. Uh, business is being built, but uh, people are very critical about that uh, sometimes. It's the right moment to say that we succeeded. We um, managed to succeed, uh, and uh, you still have the time, if not, uh, to support. To have your own investment portfolio, if you are interested in such a thing as investment, so that's the situation that we have right. I think that we all understand that perfectly well. If you have questions, I will be happy to answer them. Uh, together with Pavel Filipov, and I will be happy to join this process. I think that I've told you more than even I plan to. Uh, that's it, Pavel. Sergey, tell me, please. So apart from what you said, uh, you are also working with national partners and uh, with uh, partners uh, community. What do you think? Uh, what uh, kind of uh, mood uh, do people have right now? If you talk about uh, investors from India, Russia, etc., etc., do they have uh, the same questions, the same concerns, or maybe there is a difference between them? I can see and um, say that foreigners right now are um, uh, quite uh, more active uh, and just like our counterparts, Russians, uh, they see where are we moving right now, where we are moving, yes, um, and uh, even though that uh, we uh, have some difficulties right now and some barriers might appear still, uh, we understand where we're moving to, for example, in Technopolis, when they change the rule regarding how a uh, construction site should be uh, um, fenced and what kind of fences and standards for fences should uh, be there um, and so what kind of standards should be applied at construction site. Um, but uh, we have already installed the fence at the construction site and some guys, uh, you know, came over and they said that rules have changed and as a resident, you should comply with these rules. And so we had to, to spend uh, 100 million rubles uh, just to change the fence. I mean, uh, transform it from one fence into another. And so especially in this part where the information about construction was placed. But it's just a small part about uh, what has uh, been changed and what is uh, constantly changing and without uh, looking at uh, those uh, changes uh, well we can say yes uh, that there were some delays uh, there were some delays in terms of uh, money in terms of dates of the project but we can see that we are very close to the final stage whether it takes uh, um, one week one month or half a year we all understand that um, since uh, the risks for investors. So there are no risks for investors. They will never lose their money at the final stage. Then conditions will change. And today I wanted to tell you about the conditions for the final stage. But unfortunately, the marketing team did not allow me to do so. I don't know why actually they uh, don't want to advertise this stage 19, where we could talk about conditions of the final stage. But I would like to assure you that uh, if we really want uh, to uh, boost our assets and your assets, uh, uh, please um, benefit from these conditions right now. And it's apparent, uh, Pasha, everyone can see it. And this is just uh, to answer your questions about uh, behavior of uh, foreigners. Yes, they are more active and we can see it, especially in uh, the top regions. Uh, I mean, Vietnam, India, uh, and uh, French speaking uh, regions. Uh, they are being very active and they participate in very actively. Even Indonesia this year, it has really grown this year, three times bigger now, just uh, because uh, they saw the differences uh, that were happening around. And like Dmitry Alexandrovich says, uh, there is no way back. Uh, we have already um, overcome some thresholds or some pivotal points. And so those who thought that uh, the projects would not be a success and would not be able to overcome all the difficulties and uh, to create, for example, such a huge engineering center. And I've been there many times and as experienced person, I can tell you that this is not like a hunger in the field. 
the only preparation of the foundations for the building that should correspond certain norms and requirements to conduct studies there. Oh, wow. The only preparation of this foundation, it was a lot. And many people, uh, they uh, do not have enough courage to build such centers uh, because uh, wow, of the economy, that's very expensive. No one knows whether it's going to pay back. But we managed to do that. And there they use uh, very cool um, construction technologies. And we managed to do that. So that is why everyone um, who sees where we are going, they are boosting their assets. Uh, I hope that I answered your question. Bio. Yes, Sergey, thank you very much. It was very interesting to listen to your opinions. It was very interesting to hear your feedback. So, dear colleagues, I think that it's time to proceed to Q&A session. Uh, if you have questions for Sergey Shevchenko, just give us a sign, and uh, we will also give him the floor. I'm just wondering whether you can see and hear me. Yeah. Well, I actually wanted you to see and hear me as well. So just give me a sign when you hear the sound. So, so far I haven't seen any comments. So today, people, we talked about very interesting subjects, and I can um, see a lot of questions and uh, uh, comments, and, and let's proceed to them. The only thing that I wanted to say, so previously YouTube allowed to do so, I just uh, scrolled upwards, and I could see almost all of them starting from the very beginning, and now I can see only um, the comments starting from the middle of uh, uh, the meeting. So if you don't mind, please uh, send your questions once again, and I will start um, answering them right now. But the only thing is, uh, well, I, I, I actually noted down some of the questions because I was afraid they were going to disappear, and I will answer them while you're addressing your questions. And I would like to um, appeal to the audience watching us uh, in Zoom from different countries. There you can also address your questions. So I think that uh, I will not be able um, uh, to answer all the questions, but uh, I uh, asked for a couple of questions uh, from each country. I mean, those uh, that are uh, really interesting, I asked to select them so that they could answer them and so just uh, uh, give you, uh, dedicate some time to your question. So in general, uh, pay attention to the fact that our results are improving, financial results. And um, it is uh, directly reflected in the amount of money that uh, we can transfer to Sovomash at the end of last year, this year. We showed uh, that uh, 2023, uh, well, as for money to transfer to Sovomash, uh, it was pretty much the same amount uh, transferred if you compare it uh, to 2021, 2022. So if you combine it all together, then 2023 was uh, pretty much the same. We can see that uh, we are twice as uh, more investments uh, about well, what was transferred to Sovomash. Again, if we compare it to 2022, it is explained by a big number of uh, factors, and also it can explain by the fact that uh, project uh, is developing successfully and partners are learning um, to work together and we are getting better and better in everything we are working with and uh, um, broadcasting live. We have a lot of speakers, conference, uh, different meetings. We are improving our design, our presentations, functionality of our personal accounts. We prefer to add some additional instruments uh, to replenish your account, for example, when we do it in order to allow the project to develop. At the same time, uh, last uh, year, so those uh, results were achieved uh, through uh, some promo campaigns, and they really worked uh, OK. So of course, it's uh, caused a lot of also negativity. We know and we can see that so there are a lot of uh, discussions uh, underway, uh, well, asking uh, us 
us whether it was uh, correct or not uh, uh, for us uh, to do this or that thing. Yes, we had a lot of uh, generous campaigns. Uh, okay, we have also a reverse effect sometimes. People want to see more and more shares. So this is one thing. For example, in the, yesterday it was plus 5% to the investment, and then they don't like this plus 5. They like plus 10, but they don't like plus 10. They want to have plus 20. And, uh, wow, that uh, could um, be an endless process. Uh, uh, we get uh, go this, you know, this bonus 100, 200, 300 percent, and so on and so forth. It's like a, a drug, a narcotic. Uh, you always have to boost a dose if you want to feel fine, but it uh, never leads to something good. So that's why we decided to um, uh, reject uh, this strategy, and we're also going to talk about this. Uh, and in fact, uh, these uh, shares. Uh, and etc. They created a particular situation where the number of uh, shares in 2022, there were a lot of them issued, uh, and so it has been discussed, it's been discussed, and it's nice that you're asking about that. Of course, we could uh, give uh, different um, assessment of that, uh, but there are definitely some positive things uh, in that. It's true that with the, the help of this, we managed to attract uh, um, in 2023 twice as more investments than uh, in 2022. And uh, as Sergei said, uh, so it's better to have a project that lasts seven years, uh, but uh, that was accomplished than a project that was uh, like the only three years, but it wasn't accomplished completely. So well, Masha needed investment and needed uh, badly. Uh, and uh, construction was really important. And you know how uh, it was. Uh, and uh, you know, in Russia, uh, we have a lot of such, um, you know, stretches. So when you should fit in a particular deadline, for example, to finish some works uh, by winter. And if you don't do it, uh, then in winter, you won't be able to do that or you will have to pay a lot for that so that is why in order to prevent that in order not uh, to damage the project and in order to have an opportunity to cut down on the deadlines and to hand over to several much the money that the project really needs at a certain point in time that's why it was done that is why in this sense um, this shares they played a very important role and uh, they generated a lot of new investors for the project and a lot of investment and they help us uh, to achieve uh, certain financial goals for 2023. At the same time, of course, we cannot say that so we're not so concerned uh, um, about that at Solo Group, that we never paid uh, attention to that. Uh, well, of course, uh, it was quite a forward situation and many steps just had to be taken. Uh, and we had to, to do, uh, to think uh, what we should do about that. Now we are saying no to this strategy. And basically, you already can see it. You can see that uh, uh, months, uh, two months, uh, day to day, uh, we I uh, reject uh, some interesting proposals for investment, and we only have some ordinary current uh, conditions, uh, but they are also very attractive. Uh, uh, actually, we can see it, uh, the financial results, uh, and thanks to the fact that the project at such a stage uh, as now people continue to invest. And, uh, oh, well, I would like to highlight this uh, extra results now. Uh, they are not uh, done thanks uh, to the blurring of the shares or giving some bonuses. Uh, and so the people who invest today, they invest um, on basic uh, conditions, uh, mostly uh, what we have. At the same time, there have been a lot of talks about increase of uh, patents because it's true that it really blurs the whole thing. So increase the number of shares and also in the initial stages. And especially we had such an you know, when someone paid um, the package up to the end and cannot increase the closed package and someone invested in initial stage uh, through a way of like this package didn't do anything for several years so then restored it in good conditions and then boosted it and it turns out that uh, so um, it was a less responsible attitude but they get more um, then a responsible investor, we also understand that we made some conclusions and that is why 
uh, well, what kind of strategy we decided to adopt? First of all, as I said, we started to remove uh, all the profitable proposals uh, because we don't want to have um, this situation where we have this uh, blurred situation and uh, unknown situation with shares. And then, uh, luckily enough, uh, right now we do not uh, need uh, it and the current uh, mood and the current situation and mood I mean of the investors they allow us uh, to attract uh, proper investment and achieve certain goals uh, so Sergei Simonov talked about six million uh, dollars today so what we need to attract for some much it has um, well been done already but unfortunately we didn't manage to transfer all this money to so much but it's just a matter of time and we will continue to work on that apart from that we actually these opportunities we also um, we worked on other things and before just uh, remove uh, these opportunities that also blurred away these uh, shares. Uh, we allowed um, uh, people to uh, take advantage from opportunities to increase the package. And you remember how we did it. Uh, so, I mean, those people who found themselves in an embarrassed situation, they managed to boost their package. And so then you know, we um, removed this opportunity right now. It's not possible to increase um, closed and non-closed packages. Also, uh, we close uh, this opportunity uh, to restore investment packages that have been abandoned. Uh, we also uh, canceled this opportunity to restore packages uh, while well, they were canceled in 2017 and 2018. And so very soon, uh, we also will not uh, allow um, to restore these packages that uh, were acquired in 2011, then we will go 2020, 21, etc. So I think that this practice of increasing, of recovering, restoring these packages will not be there, or there will be some deadline, for example, no more than one year. In this case, people will think twice uh, before they act like this and will think about uh, their opportunities. Apart from that, uh, we also canceled all the lotteries, uh, different bonuses, etc. And uh, due to the fact uh, that I mentioned, in order not to blur the borders, uh, the limits of uh, these uh, shares, uh, so uh, we saw that when we see that the financing is being closed, that there are certain limits uh, and um, the situation itself already forces us to take decisions about investment. And then we can see the only thing uh, that uh, we focus on right now, in a special way, is uh, on uh, um, uh, early redemption of installments. Uh, so when you pay for your installments, so in May we gave such an opportunity to do it with a 10% uh, discount. Right now this uh, campaign is over and so we have an opportunity to do the same thing, just uh, to pay um, uh, in advance for installments, uh, but not with such a discount. We do it due to the reason that I have already mentioned. I said uh, that we do it because, uh, well, we need money now, and it's more important to receive it now than later. That is why we agree to that. I'm not going to promise that uh, it's going to be also the case in future, because uh, we have some other ideas and some other maneuvers in, uh, in our minds. Uh, thus, for example, right now, we are very actively talking about that. We are thinking about what we want to remove uh, and that we are going to remove long-term installments. Why we haven't done that before? That's a good question, but I can answer that. And why do they actually exist? Uh, on one hand, uh, we talked about deadlines, but there are some installments for 30 months. Um, uh, well, if you dig deeper into analytics, uh, uh, it turns out that more than 40% of all the investments, um, they uh, arrive uh, after 30 months of uh, this installment. Why? Because very often people do not uh, look at the uh, final sum, uh, for example, how much should be invested, uh, $500 or $1,000, but uh, it's like monthly payments, like with the mortgage. They think not about like the price uh, of the apartment, but monthly payments. Can I afford it? That's why when you get um, an installment uh, for uh, $20,000, and like if you pay 
um, like ten twenty dollars. Okay, but in the, if you pay thirty months, but the amount of uh, investments uh, becomes really big. So it's not an easy. Um, decision. Uh, well, in fact, uh, this is a particular risk zone in terms of the analytics, uh, this information. On the other hand, uh, well, and uh, uh, it has been said many times, this installments, uh, well, it will be allowed uh, to pay for that. And so will much today. Um, uh, so much for need money to buy additional equipment uh, and uh, to start activities and for a turnover capital. So these installments will be there, and so much will be able uh, be able to use that, and so much uh, will um, I think agree to that. Uh, uh, we will share information about this later. That is why uh, well you shouldn't be scared of that. Uh, long term installments. Um, it doesn't mean that it will be uh, just financed for 30 months. When I say that it will be financed, it doesn't mean that some new investment packages will be sold. So if we talk about the final stage, uh, then here, well, there is not so much time left, apparently. That is why right now we are actively discussing it and we're thinking about removing long term or loan installments at the final stage. That is why, dear friends, uh, if uh, you plan to, to have a 30 months installment, 20 months, uh, you should do it right now. Why? Because it's very probable that at the final stage you are not going to have such an opportunity. Well, anyway, um, this trend, uh, for example, just I mean to uh, make this investment conditions uh, stricter, it will continue, it will um, uh, last uh, till uh, the final stage. And uh, then um, at the final stage or uh, stage, uh, uh, well, now this will be um, a little bit. Uh, uh, different uh, and uh, well it will be worse for us for investments who have such an opportunity now who can invest uh, under current conditions for those who will come over at the final stage for them it will be a super uh, an opportunity and so uh, well considering the risk that they will take over uh, because they will be investing when uh, the uh, will be launched uh, okay so, uh, well, you have uh, uh, to understand that it's going to be quite interesting, especially for big investors uh, who very often don't want to take risks and risk their million dollars. They don't want uh, to uh, boost their investment by 100 times. So 20 30 percent uh, annual uh, per, this per percent will be okay for that. So that is why. There will be more investors like this, and they're joining us very actively. And this trend apparently will continue. So please, bear that in mind, and, and I think that as for this question, when it's going to happen, well, I think that um, we can only think about a real project, because our task is uh, to help the project uh, to raise up to its uh, feet, uh, and so we need to focus on that, so think about how to attract investment, and here we only work from the fact uh, that we have certain goals at Sobol Marsh, and uh, we have Mr. Duinov, and I think that here we need to, to wait to see what he will tell us about that. So right now uh, we have um, special days that have been announced, 31st uh, of uh, July, so we don't have any other information right now. And just um, answering your questions, we have a lot of them about, I mean, what's going to happen, uh, etc. So as uh, for this, uh, uh, well, a lot will go to this stage, and then we'll proceed to the final stage and uh, a new era in the development of the project. Uh, so that is why we have uh, a lot of different events. I'm just starting to answer some of the uh, questions that I have. For example, a launch of the internal exchange rate, it will be uh, done. Uh, very soon after the end of the financing, when we and uh, and we stop uh, selling this uh, investment package internal uh, stock exchange, it will be 
uh, special plan that will be a portal where we exchange investments or shares. We will have an opportunity to sell them, to buy them. And many people worry about uh, the rates, how much share will cost, etc. Uh, well, um, and uh, so as for the exchange rate, at uh, the very beginning, it will be fixed. It will be equal uh, to the price of the final investment stage. Uh, and uh, as a result, we will not um, do anything else about uh, this. Maybe you have seen uh, some uh, projects that, for example, have uh, gone to the um, stock exchange and then prices like go up or something. It's not going to happen. And in the future, we will be able uh, to make it uh, go down, uh, down a little bit so that it can achieve the uh, average market threshold. But in the initial stage of the stock exchange, we need to make sure that our investors will be able to earn, and etc. So that's a normal strategy, complete that could allow us to get rid of uh, a lot of uh, potential problems. Um, of course, we are going to have uh, also a parallel process where we'll be collecting uh, applications, uh, I mean, just to exchange uh, um, shares uh, for, I mean, uh, uh, these parts for shares, and uh, I mean, parts in the company, and uh, there will be a register where we have special categories. Uh, well, I hope that uh, actually, you know, people can hear me. There is some background noise. I hope that uh, it's uh, all okay. So here we are going to have two such directions where we will be exchanging parts in the company uh, for shares, uh, and we're going to form a special register. So, in this case, it will be available for our investors, any of the options. Of course, we will uh, conduct uh, all the streamings, we will show everything. Um, we continue to work with a particular support, uh, and uh, uh, we will make sure that uh, all the people have uh, responses to anything. People will consult you, uh, but you will never be left all alone here. You will be supported. No worries about that. And also, there was an interesting question. Someone suggested that there will be some additional investment directions. I would like to say just like that. Yes, it's true that, as I said, uh, well, after the uh, financing and uh, upon the end of the finance, we're going to have new projects and I think we're going to have new domains of work. Uh, this was said, so uh, there will be investments in the real estate. But right now, our main focus is just one, one focus and uh, it, it will be the case unless we finish this work. Of course, right now, today, we need to take this uh, final stage. We need uh, to finish the existing project. And after that, we will be able to proceed to a new one. It's very important to do that um, because uh, it's also important from Solar Group of the company. Uh, and it will be a very decisive moment for the company. Uh, why? Because uh, if investors uh, are unsatisfied uh, with the results of the company, they, they will not go for a new project and a new area. So that's why we need to make sure that everyone remains satisfied, uh, that we will fulfill all our promises, that everyone who wants to receive shares receive them, uh, who wants uh, to manage the, well, uh, well, uh, the processes uh, will be able to do that, want people to start receiving uh, first profits, and then I'm sure we will be able uh, to, uh, so that we're sure that Soul Group will be able to develop any investment areas, because so much is real for us, uh, and I don't think that there are many examples of this kind other than that. So, dear friends, so let's focus on that, and I'm pretty sure that you will support me on that, uh, dear partners, I'm inviting you to be really active uh, and investors, I'm inviting you to also not just uh, to sit waiting and remember that you can always um, share information about the project with your friends. And indeed, it's really interesting and not necessarily you can offer investment to them. I think that it's really interesting uh, uh, to mention the only fact itself that uh, it's true that together with you, we create uh, quite an extraordinary innovative enterprise with you. Uh, uh, we, um, uh, uh, well, we're doing something in a country where a lot of unknown things are happening. 
at the same time investments are coming to our country to russia uh, so uh, people worry that uh, some money transferred abroad uh, etc and quite the opposite by taking this money to russia so we are quite a uh, unique case so there is something to be proud of there's something to uh, share with the friends so benefit from this opportunity and uh, i'm sure that uh, we will succeed and we'll be moving even faster so and on this positive note i would like to proceed to a question from the chat what other questions do you have maybe some questions were left unanswered So, uh, what the percentage uh, by which percent the package will increase in the final stage? So, I guess I didn't quite understand uh, uh, the question, but I thought that you were talking about the change in the investment uh, conditions. So, we are uh, discussing it actively right now. Well, you know, when we uh, moved it to from stage to another stage, so shares went up in price by 10%. Right now, um it's going to be um, several times more so sales so they will become several times more expensive 20 30 percent so the difference if you for example invest now at stage 19 or if you invest in the final stage uh well this difference will be really considerable so it's going to be like a more than 20 or 30 percent no right now there is even idea to make it uh uh 50 percent i'm not quite sure that uh, uh, it will be just uh, this way but uh, this uh, difference will be apparent so also people are saying that everything is lost uh, less investments investors recently over the past five days than uh, before that's normal friends actually at the end of may we have mentioned that uh, we actually finalize uh, that uh, opportunity to redeem bonuses um, 10 uh, percent and the very last day people try to hurry up and take advantage of this opportunity that's why it's uh, not surprising there is no negative about this and about the fact that the first day uh, after this promo there was a small um, decline and it went down uh, again uh, that is compared to the first day of may but if you take a previous year in in uh, the same days last year they uh, wow they were really productive and very good one there is a room for comparison it should be compared you should do the right comparison as for june uh, well idea to attract uh, so uh, uh, we need to understand that uh, do we plan to launch uh, open a, a company um, and so again uh, investors participate in this solemn moments when everything will be officially opened etc we have already done that so, well we receive different groups coming to Sobol Masha and so uh, there we have Russian investors partners and different foreign investors and partners uh, uh, that is why uh, such groups uh, arrive. If you are interested in that, uh, you can uh, address uh, the support team and they will tell you what kind of opportunities we have today. They will tell you what uh, we have today. Also, we um, arrange a conference where more people participated in that. Uh, now we're thinking about whether or not a conference should be organized this year. You can also ask a question about that. For example, if we organize such a conference, if you came there, what would be interesting for you to find, to know right now? We're in the process of taking a decision if such conference happens, and I think it will be in the end of summer, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit later, so preliminary. But while the weather is really nice, we can do it, and so we will be able to do that. So I'm not quite sure that it will be a separate uh, event, 
friends, you yeah, I think that uh, we need to address this issue to Sudarev and do you know if uh, uh, we can ask them whether they plan anything of this uh, kind, but I haven't heard about that. Anyway, I think that uh, there will be such an opportunity that they will appear from the time to time. Uh, some investors come to the site, so they can see it, etc. And also, it's interesting for foreign investors. Uh, here it is absolutely open. Uh, where there will be an account in rubles and personal accounts. Uh, 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 Dmitry, uh, I said that not in uh, this project, uh, but right now we are already. It's uh, uh, the end, and uh, you shouldn't switch horses uh, at such an important uh, point. Uh, well, I think that uh, we should focus on positive things. In the new project, I think um, that uh, we could think about such an opportunity, but only in a new project. So I'm just looking at the chat. It's jumping a little bit. So how many parts will be there in uh, the share? So, well, uh, first of all, we need to understand how many parts we're going to have. And so then we will understand how many shares we're going to have. And uh, right now, these are two variables, so that are unknown. The number of uh, uh, shares uh, could be different. Uh, sometimes we think about convenience. We want to have a convenient number of them. For example, if one share uh, will cost uh, 1 billion, it's not so convenient. One copy is not so convenient. If you know the quantity, uh, then you will be able to have uh, this information. But it's not that important how much it will cost. I mean, one share, for example. Uh, because uh, it's more just about the uh, convenience, because it doesn't matter whether we have uh, one share for 1,000 or uh, 10 shares, uh, like 100 rubles each. Will there be IPO? And yes, at which stock exchange? Uh, well, if yes, and then Moscow stock exchange, uh, this is the most convenient option, even though that basically and very often Companies, so they enter different stock exchanges, it's not going to necessarily be just one stock exchange. As for IPO, in our case, uh, uh, there is no need for a standard classical IPO in terms of also terminology. We just call it IPO, okay, because IPO, what is that? Uh, it's uh, like when you try to attract uh, uh, some additional capital. In our case, we just need uh, to make it to a stock exchange, some open trade platform and sites where shares could be freely sold and bought, so that investors sell uh, such uh, shares. So there is such an opportunity. So if uh, shares are kept in solo group, so uh, will there be a document um, showing that it will belong to investor? Um, yes, there will be a special agreement signed, uh, um, given uh, the opportunity uh, to manage the company in a certain way, a certain extent, if you have such shares, uh, we're going to submit for examination a uh, draft of uh, such an agreement. Right now, people are choosing and thinking about uh, what could be interesting for them in terms of uh, you know, such uh, ownership? Uh, are they interested in this kind of uh, you know, ownership or managing rights? Uh, if I stay for a solo group, what kind of commission will be there? Uh, what is would be my benefit from that? Uh, and what agreements uh, will be uh, signed? Uh, so we are analyzing all that.
المليون Да, по всей видимости, упало какие-то проблемы с интернетом. Uh, seems like uh, we have just had some problems um, with the internet, and uh, he will be back. I remember how that four years ago, five years ago, uh, quite often there were some uh, problems, uh, technical problems with the uh, webinars. Uh, there were webinars uh, I mean, within 40, 50 minutes. That's what not possible to solve all the problems. Uh, and uh, usually people, they organize uh, the meetings a bit later and postpone until tomorrow, for example, next day. While uh, Filipov never did that. Uh, remember how he always uh, fought uh, up to the end uh, and he always organized a webinar. And uh, I always like that, uh, this uh, perseverance in him. Павел, тебя слышно только на YouTube. Тебя нету в Zoom по какой-то... Павел, мы можем только слышать на YouTube, но ты не находишься в Zoom. Но мы имеем новую broadcasting session на YouTube. Итак, друзья, кто хочет продолжить смотреть ответы, Dear friends, who wants to, to continue to watch all that, uh, then switch to YouTube. Uh, they launched the broadcast and session again, and they will be able to uh, listen to the responses to the question. Невозможно, да, можно только предугадать, сделать какой-то прогноз. И... So we can only make some prognosis. Более четко на этот вопрос можно будет ответить. And it will be possible to answer this question when we proceed to the final stage. So we'll be able to go back to this question. And then I think that at the beginning of the final stage we'll be able to raise it when we understand how much this final stage will take, what kind of discounts we're going to have this there, and um, how many uh, parts will remain uh, investments uh, in the installments and then we'll be able to answer this question more precisely so far uh, it's just about guessing it's not possible so group is it going to pay taxes i'm not in russia so uh, will there be double taxation speaking about uh, taxes So you say that uh, you are not in Russia, you have to understand uh, which country you are from, because if when you receive dividends, it will be very important which country you are from, uh, because in some countries, so a group will be able uh, to be a um, um, tax agent, and for example, uh, transfer dividends, uh, um, Uh, and uh, so its dividends will be transferred and they were cleared of any 
taxes. It's like a broker, but it will not be possible with all the countries. Um, that's why we'll take uh, a look at each case on an individual basis. But anyway, all the instructions will be submitted. Uh, we will not leave the situation as it is. We will uh, keep a very close eye on it, and, uh, and different instructions will be submitted also uh, regarding uh, Mm, no, actually different issues, uh, for example, regarding the corporization, etc. Um, we will see. And uh, what else I wanted to say? So uh, I should say that we actually receive a very big number of interesting suggestions. And uh, well, anyway, we note everything down. Uh, um, uh, we have uh, different uh, partnership networks uh, and relations between partners. So here, uh, well, we will examine different possibilities. And so internal stock exchange, will it be open this year? Will there be a lower threshold? Uh, yes, I've mentioned that as for the deadline, if uh, packages, uh, well, well, if we stop selling them this year, then this year. But here we will need uh, more detailed information to look at the next steps uh, and how the project will develop. I mean, Dmitry Alexandrovich, do you know, if, uh, Mr. Simonov said at the very beginning that currently the tasks that have been put forward, they have been accomplished because um, physically money uh, is not uh, the account of so much yet. And after that, we'll see what kind of step we will take uh, next. And of course, Mr. Dunov is the only one who can answer. So if we have a share of 45 billion, uh, so what kind of um, um, kind of uh, results could there be? We need to know the um, number of uh, shares and parts. It's not possible to make a calculation regarding, for example, um, something regarding shares. And we need to. So it's uh, only needed to collect uh, three more million. So in August, it can be closed. Uh, I have already also mentioned that uh, uh, we need uh, to uh, wait uh, for an update of these uh, financial goals. Uh, so at so much, and then it will be uh, clear. So uh, presently, at this stage, and by the way, speaking at the uh, this meter, uh, yes, yeah, so three million left, but in fact, uh, uh, it's not left. So, I mean, if you talk about so the uh, six hundred million. So, another so much, not so much. So, as for Solomash, this studio has been dissembled, so I wouldn't be able to broadcast from the studio, probably from someone else, but uh, there we don't have uh, a lot of found places there because construction is uh, everywhere, but that's a good idea. As Dmitry Alexandrovich and uh, Dmitry Sudorov are organizing it from there, that would be interesting to do that. What kind of condition will be there? So right now it's in the process of... Right now I cannot answer that. So there is a number of uh, ideas that are discussed. And I think right now it makes no sense to, to tell you that. Of course, something might change. But I can tell you that it's going to be market uh, conditions. 50%, it's not going to be like 50%, everything will be fair. But everyone's going to have uh, a choice uh, uh, at the very beginning of the project when it started, we never said it will be such an opportunity as uh, management. So we just told everyone that we give uh, shares to everyone. 
well, who joined us now, they probably wanted to earn something, but it's not about that. A lot of investors, they actually asked for some kind of intermediate opportunity. That's how this idea appeared. So when you exchange uh, parts for shares, it requires uh, uh, some additional uh, means. So you also need to send documents, uh, them uh, officially be confirmed uh, with the attorney. There are some difficulties. And also if you invest, uh, for example, $100, uh, all these uh, attorneys will cost another uh, I mean, $200. So here's the question whether you should do it. If you do not live in Russia, maybe there could be some other complexities with um, sending that. If due to some reasons uh, you can also, you don't want to officially register it in your name, probably you want to have this kind of intermediate state uh, uh, through this um, kind of management. Uh, that is kind of more convenient. Uh, and of course, it could be called a continuation of solo group business. But honestly speaking, so far, uh, for solo group, it could trigger more potential problems, uh, or probably there could be a profit. This is a low margin uh, business uh, where, I mean, you could really make money at uh, the management level, managing process. Uh, look at the foundations uh, who manage uh, different capitals. They take 1%, but they have uh, debts of uh, billions of dollars. Uh, and uh, when you earn uh, $1 billion uh, and you get 1%, one hundred million dollars that's nice but if you have one million dollars in management so you can only earn ten thousand dollars so that's why it's not clear yet whether or not it's going to be really profitable for solar group to get involved into that but um, there is no other ways Why it is still possible to restore installments if you only make one payment? It's not logical if um, I can put it here. Well, actually, there is no such an opportunity. Maybe it can be provided individually sometimes, but actually, as for installments, you need to, to pay off uh, the whole debt that you have. I will check this out. I agree that right now, allowed to restore installments just uh, through one payment. Uh, I fully agree with your support. Uh, I can see that we have pretty much the same questions. They repeat themselves. We already talked about parts, about shares. So, what about corporization? It will not, I mean, um, well, there are some additional funds that will be attracted. So, it depends on what you refer to as uh, end of attracting finances. When I talk about end of financing, I always mean that uh, we will uh, stop uh, selling new packages. If we talk about installments, then installments uh, will be able uh, to proceed to corporatization when installments will be paid for. There is a mechanism to do that. Uh, we can reserve a number of um, shares uh, where we actually will reserve uh, some installments and they will be able to exchange their parts on shares. Uh, it's now difficult, so we won't have to wait here. And can you please turn on uh, the modem once again on your cell phone so that I can connect it, connect it to via my um, computer?
So, uh, speaking about dividends and that uh, they will be converted into rubles, etc., uh, so uh, there will be no double convertition. Dividends will be paid in the rubles. So, if you live in Russia, you will receive them in rubles, and even uh, if uh, you have uh, some uh, managing. Uh, right so then it will be rubble but if you are foreign if you don't live in russia then for you that would be convenient to have it in dollars so then we will uh, change it to, to dollars and it will be done like that i just need to think where there will be like um, discretionary management or trust management. So I'm going to update the chat one more time. Is there a plan to uh, back by uh, shares? So there are such uh, there are no such obligations. So uh, it has never been mentioned uh, that will be the case. But actually, uh, buy out of uh, uh, shares uh, that's a normal thing today. A lot of companies do that. I mean, resort to buy out of shares and do not exclude that. So much will also do that because it's beneficial for everyone. Actually, when a company buys out uh, its uh, own shares, it is beneficial in this case for you, for investors you will be able to sell your shares at a higher price and after such buyout uh, the price of the shares goes up and other investors in the market seat and they start buying the shares shares go up in uh, value maybe some of you if you are interested in uh, um, fund markets you can see how the shares market has grown uh, in the states uh, recently except for covid times and the crisis and so we probably saw that shares were growing but if you look at it deep inside we can see that a big part of this growth was triggered by the so-called the buyback or buyout or buyback uh, so so it means uh, that a uh, company uh, was uh, buying its shares, its own profits, uh, and uh, well, then it was uh, growing. Uh, it's really profitable for the company because the company costs a lot. Uh, well, um, then it uh, in, uh, improves um, um, the reputation. Also, another opportunity uh, to get uh, some credits. Um, uh, and uh, also uh, before some other profitable financial operations. So I think uh, that we don't have such obligations. Uh, probably we will proceed to it uh, sooner or later because this is normal practice that a lot of companies resort to. Internal, uh, no, stock exchange is smaller in terms of coverage than uh, Moscow stock exchange. I agree with that. Uh, when we talk about internal stock exchange, we don't talk about exchange of shares. Fortunately, unfortunately, we don't have such an opportunity. Yes, not so many have such an opportunity in this country. We have just a few uh, stock exchanges that have uh, their platform uh, opportunity um, to work in this way with uh, their shares. So there will be a turnover of uh, parts. Uh, if we talk about shares, then we need uh, to, um, well, to go to, for example, Moscow Stock Exchange. Uh, um, and so uh, there are more shareholders, etc., and there could be more interest for that. Dmitry is asking, dividends uh, will be going to the account, uh, to the personal account of Solar Group. Yes, I got it. You asked about uh, account in rubles. Uh, in as for dividends, it will be possible to have uh, an account in rubles. So that would be logical. I agree uh, to take rubles from so much, convert to dollars, and then convert back to rubles. It makes no sense. Uh, well, uh, that's only another way to feed the uh, banks and ATMs.
If installments are uh, not being paid uh, for, uh, completely the corporation will be just for the number of uh, paid parts uh, or completely. If you paid the uh, number of uh, parts and uh, some of them have not been paid for and some of them are installments, then you can exchange only those parts you have already paid for. And uh, your attention, please, in general, when you go through uh, the uh, procedure of uh, corporization, uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot get new investment packages uh, or um, get additional installments. When you go through this process in your personal accounts and uh, for example there you specify the number of parts that you want to exchange for shares and after that uh, uh, you make uh, certain payments uh, uh, for installments or you get a new investment package you get new shares and so then you go to this uh, uh, part again and uh, you may change the percentage uh, that's it uh, you can go through the process of corporization now even if you pay for installments and after this uh, you can uh, get uh, new investment packages and correct uh, this uh, application a little bit so there is no difficulty with that if we talk about production then we need workers electrical engineer i try to find the vacancies of Amansha. who works uh, um, at uh, the company is it possible to be hired by you yes uh, you can do it uh, i'm saying that uh, not because i'm responsible for hr things here but i know people who were our investors and they find a job at so much that is why I am saying that there is such an opportunity. It's possible speaking about uh, Sovo Mash and whether or not we find new employees. As far as I know, some new employees um, come over. And of course, when Sovo Mash is launched, the company will be expanded. Uh, it has been mentioned so many times uh, and we'll, we'll need new people. I would recommend the following. Go to the official website of Sovo Mash. There are some contact details. I'm not quite sure that there you can find uh particular contacts uh, of uh, hr but anyway you will be able to get in touch uh, with this department probably uh, um, fix a uh, um, uh, job interview and so uh, if uh, your uh, skills are in great need say for example uh if you are electric mechanic uh, well there is always a uh, room for such specialists in uh, such uh, companies uh, you just need uh, to try to give it a try so what is the scheme for paying dividends uh, so you see uh, well payment of dividends uh, this is uh, quite a standard thing a board of directors takes the decision to pay dividends and then they are paid for all the shares for example ruble per uh, each share and then you just need uh, uh, to understand uh, uh, how you possess uh, these shares if it's uh, just your uh, standard procedure you receive your bank account if uh, so uh, much a company at a certain point of time will be at stock exchange at that time you can resort uh, to services provided by a broker for example think of uh, they had this rebranding uh, and now it's uh, uh, well, uh, like um, an investment uh, platform where it's possible to trade shares etc so um Osberbank, for example they also have their own broker and there in the personal account you will be able to receive it and it will be cleared of uh, the dividends uh, uh, and through solar group then uh, this uh, money will go to the account of solar group and then will go to you to your personal account of our s4 rubles yes i think it will be done for renewables If Kenny says, where do you read these uh, questions from? From YouTube. There are a lot of questions. Uh, I started from the very beginning, and probably I need to speed up a little bit. Well, um, actually, I answer all the questions that I see. And uh, if uh, there is a weird uh, question, then I don't uh, answer it. But I try not to skip any single question. 
So uh, some time ago you, you said that one part is equal to one share, etc. But uh, now it's not the case or what? Uh, so that was our goal. But now we're stepping aside from that uh, in a sense that from the very beginning we said that we really wanted uh, it, uh, but it uh, was more of a marketing. Uh, now, if you look at this um, reasonably, then it makes no sense uh, to stick to this principle. Why? Because the number of shares uh, uh, well, is issued uh, just uh, for convenience also, uh, just uh, to have a uh, uh, convenient situation. And, I mean, the price uh, of parts and uh, shares, when you say, yes, it's one dollar, etc. If it is uh, appropriate uh, uh, to the point of corporatization, that, okay, we can do it. But if we understand that that point, that uh, it's uh, not uh, okay, then um, we, it's not... Uh, obligatory to do that and investors will not suffer from that if i pay so all the investors uh, can i uh, be exposed to corporation or not so yes what you paid for you will exchange it for shares what you haven't paid for you just need to pay for that and then you will just adjust a little bit your application If uh, 50 billion uh, parts uh, will be sold, uh, and if it will be double, there will be 100 billion parts, and uh, half of this belong uh, to Solomash. I would say that half of the shares belong uh, to Solomash. It's not the case. Uh, why? Because the scheme is that uh, uh, half of Solomash belongs to Sol Group, I mean, 49%. And the uh, people are uh, starting to buy uh, shares parts of the solo group. Uh, that's uh, the scheme. Is. That is why it would be correct to say that uh, this uh, 50 billion parts that you mentioned, uh, they will be exchanged uh, for half of uh, the shares at Solomash. So, Solar March decides to issue 100 uh, million of uh, sh shares, the 50 million, yes, of uh, shares. Uh, it uh, will stay with the management, uh, with the team. I mean, 51%. This company and 49%, uh, 49 billion, excuse me, billion. Um, shares, uh, they will be exchanged uh, for 50 billion prices. Uh, so, I mean, it's very perplex, it's very complicated, but again, nothing will be multiplied. Um, so, it will be just explained additionally. Anyway, I hope that uh, it will be, it was quite clear. Anyway, you don't have to multiply anything. So, what about the secret that you promised? Uh, what was the secret? Uh, uh, as, uh, that was about the uh, figures as to how it can be replenished. I mean, accounts, uh, we show some statistics uh, and a lot of data is available in the personal account. For example, number of uh, uh, investment that arrived, there was a special counter there in the counter. Uh, you can see it there, it was uh, worth of uh, uh, 84.5 million dollars uh, but in fact it was a little bit more than that uh, because we uh, showed some year to year statistics there and for 2017 a project uh, seems like it attracted 1 million dollars but in fact it was uh, 2 million dollars so that's why there was such a deviation because 1 million dollars uh, it was not uh, it didn't go through a personal account it does not uh, mean that it was not anyhow registered, but uh, uh, our uh, initial personal accounts they didn't exist. Uh, but uh, this road map, uh, um, $84 million, uh, you can see there. This is on the day to days of our personal accounts. So the first million dollars uh, uh, that was invested in the project, it was uh, invested without personal accounts. That's why the database related to our personal accounts is not there. Uh, that's why in the roadmap, uh, the uh, sum is not completely correct. 
uh, but uh, it's not that um, difference, it's just a few percent, but still there is a small difference. So that is why we decided to announce it today. And uh, uh, we decided to connect it a little bit on the roadmap so that we don't have any questions uh, later on. And what if a uh, dollar collapse and will be underappreciated? We, just like Solar Group, Solar Mash, we don't store big amount of cash anywhere. Yes, and today we shared some facts that denied that, uh, that uh, probably told us quite a different thing. For example, 160 million that were mentioned, they are in the process of being transferred. But this is an, no, not a scheduled situation, so to speak. Why? Because uh, the money, they, uh, um, this is uh, turned over and processed quite quickly and solar group I can uh, use it for operational exp expenses uh, pay referral payments uh, invest in marketing and the main task is to transfer money to the account of solar mash and to not uh, to accumulate this money anywhere it's also the case with solar mash right now all the money are uh, sent for construction work so if dollar collapse for example or any other um, uh, value uh, loses its value well of course uh, it's uh, uh, will be set but uh, there will not be uh, there won't be any collapse I mean construction materials and works so they will be recalculated in different exchange maybe even in cryptocurrency I don't know we'll see anything and uh, maybe there will be like a barter so where so much uh, could exchange it uh, for something like a sand or whatever we could do it this way uh, even though it's not convenient uh, but uh, it will so happen that investors will be able to make their own contribution but we need to understand that money is so about exchanging it's not about money but about doing something on that money and that's exactly what we're following in our strategy how are you going to pay dividends in the United States? Our main task is to make them transfer. It will be done by Solo Group. Uh, that is why if you um, stay there to manage Solo Group, uh, but to do that, uh, uh, well, um, we have different jurisdictions. The Solo Group uh, has different uh, jurisdictions and has counter agents in different regions uh, and also in the United States. As for um, so shares managing, uh, we will share some more details about it later on. Is it possible to open an account uh, in rubles for an investor from abroad? As far as I know, it's possible. It's possible to do that. Uh, well, some banks and non-Russian banks allow to do so. For example, banks from Kazakhstan, from Georgia, from Armenia, these countries, there it's possible to open an account in rubles, and it's possible to do it for a foreign as well. And foreign can open it in Russia, we just need to understand where it's going to be more profitable, easier. But sometimes you don't even have to go to a bank and you can open an account, sometimes it requires personal presence, physical. How many times a year dividends will be paid? Uh, Mr. Dunov said once a year. So in a personal account, there will be accounts in rubles. If we talk about dividends, uh, uh, so to make uh, a personal account in rubles uh, for uh, paying dividends, it's absolutely normal. What is the deadline uh, to finalize non paid parts in a personal account? There is no such a deadline. So if you don't reflect uh, your parts properly, no one will take it away from you. But it's just uh, additional insurance or 
addendum to the agreements, but it's not always obligatory. The most important thing is that uh, you sign an agreement that you paid for the shares, uh, and uh, for the shares you have all the necessary documents, then uh, preparation of the parts and issuance of certificates. It's more for you as an investor, for you to be calm, so that you can have something in your hands. But your main document, of course, is agreement. There is no uh, deadline, it's more for you. So, I think that we answered all the questions. Uh, so, at least uh, uh, in terms of uh, Russian broadcasting, but we also have a number of questions from our um, uh, foreign uh, participants, uh, and I asked uh, to send them to me. We are quite close to the end of our broadcasting session. I would like you to um, share your likes, uh, uh, comments, uh, share it uh, with uh, your friends. So this is just a small part, I mean, a small thing that is available for everyone that could help the project, uh, the development of the project uh, in spite the end of uh, this uh, session. Um, if you send the link, uh, well, video will be available in person. You will send it to, we'll be able to see it, uh, like, for example, tomorrow. And also, I would like to thank you. Today we had uh, quite a lot of... Uh, um, Yes, so it's not over yet, uh, uh, but uh, uh, at a certain point there was almost 1,000 people, which is really nice. But uh, I would like to say that during the previous webinar, there were more people, 1,200, but still, I'm happy uh, that uh, there are so many people watching it, uh, and we found the time for organizing such webinars really comfortable for our foreign uh, friends. Okay, speaking about our foreigners and what they asked us, uh, and uh, non-Russian investors. The most popular uh, questions, as I can see, is uh, when we finally proceed uh, to stage 20 and when dividends uh, will be paid. Well, actually, we have already discussed that, uh, but still, let's uh, go through it today uh, again. Uh, so, um, uh, transfer or transition to this uh, stage 20 or final stage, uh, let's call it a final stage, uh, final stage of financing. Uh, we stick to our main events in life of the project, which is a launch of uh, enterprise, uh, this plant, Sour Mash. And then uh, we will proceed to the final stage. As of today, we only know this date, uh, the 30th of uh, July, and uh, Mr. Duyunov announced it, this date officially. We hope that uh, more or less at this time it will happen. Uh, well, at least we don't have any other information. And so we are guided by this information. That is why, as I also have already said, uh, uh, well, during some webinars, of course, when you launch such a big enterprise project, it's very difficult uh, to guess and uh, to tell you for sure when it's going to be like 30th of July. Well, for example, when you repair your apartment, it's very difficult to make any accurate. Uh, um, uh, here we talk not only about construction, but the launching of a business uh, where we have elements of uh, this big construction. So that is why I admit uh, and I think that there could be some uh, temporary uh, deviations uh, from our schedule, let's call it this way, or maybe uh, uh, if, um, if we don't stick to this date, 
it's not gonna be dramatic and it's not gonna affect anything. And it's not gonna have any negative impact on us. We know for sure that if it doesn't have a today, then tomorrow after tomorrow, then the day after tomorrow. And the same can be said about uh, the switch to the final 20th stage. So it's either uh, today or tomorrow when everything will be watched. The same thing with dividends. Uh, here, first, we need to understand. And uh, I think that uh, uh, it will be possible to answer that uh, when uh, enterprise will be launched. Dividends are paid once a year. And correspondingly, enterprise uh, should be a work on for at least one year. And then dividends will be paid uh, or half a year because as a rule uh, when it comes to dividends uh, results are summarized and dividends are paid so from the moment when um, the enterprise is launched then approximately a year you have to wait a year unless uh, first profit will be generated and will be able for distribution and uh, one more question the most popular one if uh, our standard sum is uh, collected, will we stop to attract additional funds or will we have uh, through the 20th stage of attracting funds? We will have to go through it. We have already said uh, that right now uh, we can see this um, sum uh, and so what we need to finalize that construction. And uh, Mr. Duyunov uh, said about that, but apart from that, we'll have to buy some equipment uh, and uh, some uh, um, operational equipment, etc. Some work. So that is why, yes, um, uh, part of uh, some will have to be collected where and when uh, and so which some exactly. Uh, OK, uh, here we can uh, work from Sobomash and Mikhail Alexandrovich, you know. So far, I don't have any exact information, but I'm sure that this information will be available and will be available soon. It will be announced officially. So as I was informed, sir, yes, this question was uh, from Vietnam. Then we have a question from our investors from France, or French-speaking uh, country. How will convertition of the dollar will be done in CFA? Uh, to the local currency. So uh, as far as I understood, this was from our French-speaking friends. So you see, in fact, there are a lot of different options. So you can see what it looks like now uh, when uh, uh, we withdraw referral payments. There are different scenarios. We have cryptocurrency, different payment system. There are different... Uh, situations where you transfer to different banking cards and again if we talk about uh, option where you um, stay in the management of solo group you can uh, pick uh, any way so if there is a request from investors where they say that we want to get something in our national currency then we will tackle it we'll open a company or we will strike a deal with counter agents to have such an opportunity that is why yeah uh, uh, it's very important to understand so what will be convenient and then search for solutions for that uh, variance that we use today. You can actually see it when you work with um, referral uh, payments. There was a question in, in English also. So actually, uh, there were a lot of uh, similar questions about stage 20 uh, and the beginning of that. So a lot has been said about this. Internal stock exchange after the end of financing. When we finish selling of investment packages, uh, when it happens, and uh, we will be able to answer that uh, by the, the end of uh, stage 19, we are quite there, and probably we'll have uh, one month uh, uh, or two, or maybe at the beginning of uh, stage 20, there will be final goals uh, for all the directions, and we will be able to answer that. So we just need uh, a bit of... Uh, um, to answer that, where will, will there be a split of actions? Uh, 
of shares. There was the question, well, split of actions is uh, when there will be more shares, when we do splits more for convenience. When, for example, Companies becomes more expensive, and before that, the price of one share was one hundred dollars, and then started to cost uh, five hundred. That's why split, uh, for example, uh, when you double shares, for example, it was uh, worth of five hundred, and then two of them for two hundred. If it is needed, then we can do it. We know a lot of uh, companies uh, who have done it and do it uh, many times, uh, but um, it's uh, like a technical thing and it does not affect anything except for convenience. Suggestion from investors from India and Vietnam make a package uh, worth of $100 obligatory for those who have paid for packages uh, over $1,000. Just a second, someone is calling. So uh, make a, a package of uh, $100 uh, uh, obligatory for those who pay $1,000. And so means it will uh, be received immediately. So as far as I understood, uh, so a uh, proposal from India and Vietnam is just to force people uh, to uh, get some additional uh, investment, if I got it correctly. So anyways, uh, so it means the money will be collected faster. But anyway, receive questions here for sure. We will send it to the marketing department. We will take a look at this. We'll take a look at all the proposals. In fact, many investors, I think, as well as partners, they underestimated a little bit. So yeah, because we don't always provide feedback, but everything that you send, everything you say, or we see it, or we read it, we discuss that. Amongst us, uh, we think about ways uh, to um, adopt it, but probably we do not always publicly react it because it's not always needed. Um, sometimes uh, we just uh, highlight it and say, yes, it needs to be done, and we do it. Uh, that is why, anyways. All the ideas, uh, reactions, uh, dissatisfaction or satisfaction, we see all that, we react to that, we analyze that, and we see, think about ways to act in this situation. Why don't you transform shares and tokens that can be traded and the international stock exchange? Speaking about tokens, ICO. So this question was there. Everything that is related to that. At the beginning of the project, we thought about this uh, ICO. Uh, and so we thought about uh, these uh, webinars and everything. It's true that we wanted to do that uh, as another opportunity to attract that. Uh, and you know pretty well that we haven't done that uh, because um, uh, such a uh, chaos uh, yeah, around ICO is over and a lot of people uh, well, suffered from that ICO uh, and they think that they committed a mistake. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't uh, work with tokens. I think we will be working with that. Uh, and from time to time, we talk about such an opportunity and how we can use tokens and cryptocurrency and blockchain in our work. And uh, many of uh, the interesting solutions, we will implement them in a new project. Uh, also, including tokens, uh, they will be useful uh, as uh, some kind of uh, a legal um, way to attract investment. A lot of people do that. Uh, right now, tokens can be legally connected to different assets, shares in business, uh, uh, parts in business. In fact, our uh, parts are also tokens, but um, it's a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. I wouldn't say that uh, outdated or 
out later, but the tokens are they just more popular. Uh, that's it. Uh, we will see. We will see what will survive or what will be relevant because throughout the financing there have been a lot of uh, proposals and suggestions as well as uh, ideas or this uh, hype uh, uh, stories so we didn't go there we were just talking at this and we have been through that uh, through this uh, project they all disappeared even though that uh, seems like they were quite promising and um, etc uh, on the interest uh, uh, we never did that, uh, quite the opposite. Uh, uh, we sometimes do not uh, give a sweet uh, answers, but we never like. That's uh, our position. Uh, some people quite the opposite like it because we have a lot of um, adequate people. And we will stick to this policy. That's why. So when it comes to investments, it's better to move more slowly, but as for these uh, high projects, I do not even keep an eye on them, do not control that. Well, when you try to run around, uh, trying to get a certain benefit, it's no longer interesting for me. And actually, a lot of partners right now, they start uh, to go back to solar group. Uh, and, um, well, they don't quite understand why. They spend so much time running between different projects, even though as partners, uh, our partners, they could earn much more and uh, get uh, more valuable assets uh, rather than tokens that uh, were somewhere and uh, this project no longer exists. So let's uh, take a final look uh, at uh, the comments. Maybe there were some new questions, I don't know in the chat and then we will finish it So, tell us, are you interested in new investors or not? Uh, Nikola, yes, today it's uh, possible to invest. You can get registered in your personal account. You can take a look at the news to find out more about the uh, project. You can get in touch with the contact center. You can add to the chat of investors, and there you will find answers to all your questions. What a percentage of profit will be distributed for dividends? 50% of the profit will be uh, go to dividends. Will you send uh, an agreement uh, on paper? If needed, uh, yes, we do it now. And so uh, we'll keep on doing that if there is such a desire, a wish. So, Eduard writes that he works at a big construction site and says that you will be surprised if the plant will be commissioned. I mean, the project will be commissioned on time. Yes, it's very difficult to commission such a big project on time. That is why I said that I will be okay if there are some sure small delays but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and we hope that everything will be okay the solo group uh, plan to create its own cryptocurrency that would be profitable for you it's like a launch pad i want to say that there are a lot of uh, interesting directions and business something that you can work with uh, but it's not possible to deal with everything at the same time so 
Approximately, I do understand uh, how it works. I participated in that to me personally in launch pens and even received some tokens. There is an understanding of that. Uh, if uh, we really wanted to, then I think qualification of employees and so group would be enough for that. Another question is what for? What do we need it for? Just to try to earn some money. Well, as I said, SEO has also been discussed and just disappeared, and no one needs that. It's like hype. Oh, we work with uh, long term stories. Uh, we uh, work on something fundamental, no matter what kind of cryptocurrency. You know, we talk about some artificial intelligence and all these advanced technologies, no matter how fast it comes to our life. Uh, since a uh, simple, you know, ordinary uh, work uh, uh, thing like uh, Electro motor, I don't think that uh, it will ever disappear. Uh, well, uh, it's just like the foundation of of uh, on what actually our life is uh, be built. It's not just for one year or two, uh, but uh, for generations to come, it will be enough for us or for next generation and to say no to such perspectives, perspectives in order to try uh, to create uh, our own uh, launch pad uh, or something like cryptocurrency. I see no sense in that. When will it be obvious uh, how many parts uh, we have? I think it will be at the beginning of uh, stage uh, 20. I think we'll be able to calculate that and it will be absolutely transparent. I don't need to say that it will be absolutely uh, transparent and uh, well, I will show it to you and you will agree to that. This webinar, it was really interesting. I'm really happy, uh, Alexandra, that I can see such feedback. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, wow, we have been together for two hours and a half. It's true that we talked about a lot of things today. Uh, of Marsh, this project, uh, do you have any plans to launch it? Yes, we talked about that uh, a year ago at our Moscow conference, and Mr. Doyanov talked about that. And even there are some there is some information at the website of Sovomash about a new project of Sovomash. So the most important thing is to have an opportunity to exchange currency, a euro, dollars, uh, pound sterling, etc. That is a good idea. I think it could be done. Why isn't it uh, possible uh, to equal one part to one share? Then the price of uh, share will be minimum and will be attractive for future investors. So why? Uh, that we don't know how many parts we're going to have and how many shares we're going to be have. Uh, so there are two variables, and it's not possible to make any conclusions based on that. Again, uh, can we calculate anything right now? And to give some kind of prognosis, I think so. But uh, anyone could come up with such a prognosis, and uh, anyone could be a writer there. But I really don't want uh, to do it uh, publicly. Also today, before the webinar, we discussed such an issue. And when we said that sometimes I say something on purpose, and uh, I uh, say, according to my opinion, or I think, uh, or uh, then I read the chat, and someone says, Pavel said, or whatever. No, I would say, I suppose uh, I try to make uh, this. Uh, things and to say that uh, well we'll see and even if i talk about the general number of parts i say that i suggest but i never uh, say that that's for sure Ну, смотрите, зная свою долю в Solar Group, 
и понимая, что как бы 100% долей Solar Group – это половина от Solar Mash, да, вы тогда да, будете понимать а, свою долю в Solar Mash. Все правильно. Только единственное… Uh, we need to know uh, the number of parts and the shares, and then we… Well, we're not going to have one billion uh, dollars, uh, I mean, a billion uh, parts there. That's for sure. I have explained that. So it means that 100 million uh, parts of solar group will be exchanged for a certain number of the shares, but uh, the number of shares will not be duplicated. <laughs> Is it possible that there will be only 10 billion uh, shares? So as for the number of uh, um, shares and parts of this question, first you need to finish the project and you need to uh, assess uh, uh, assets and uh, do a lot of work. And uh, on even professional um, assessment experts will not be ready to answer this question and before we answer this question we need to go through certain procedures and we cannot do it right now because the project has not been constructed and it's not working no matter what i tell you as i say it will be just a, a suggestion an idea but not a, a confirmed point of view that's why i cannot answer that right now so we ran out of questions. And then I suggest that we finish this meeting. We finish our broadcasting. Again, the most important thing first. Today you heard what kind of uh, funds will be uh, transferred to Solomash and we will try to do our best to send it there as soon as possible. At the same time, we have one month ahead, June, and together with you, we will be able to work with you on that uh, and attract enough investment and even this goal that would put forward uh, for the first half of the year, six million um, dollars. Well, we can really exceed even that. So we have already done that. But how much? Uh, that's the question. And uh, how much money physically will be sent to some of It's really important because there is money that is ready to be sent in reality and money that uh, has been sent to the account. So we'll try to make it reach the account as soon as possible without any problems. Then, today, we showed you uh, some financial indicators, and not only for the current year, but also for all the working years. So that's why, again, I would like to congratulate you, and uh, I would like to uh, again congratulate you on the anniversary of this project, the 1st of uh, June 2017, the first official webinar was organized, where Sergei Simonov and Mr. Brunov officially announced the start of the project and announced those conditions and the goals uh, within the project. So it's already the 6th of uh, June, uh, but still it's like an anniversary session. So we show you the results for all the years. We were able to show you everything and I hope that there are no more questions left. So we talked about a big number of other subjects, and the most interesting one is a um, switch to the new stage. Remember that uh, and uh, be aware that right now we're cutting down on all the uh, profitable uh, opportunities and uh, new shares. Well, we do not plan to launch them. That is why the best time for investment is now. Because when we switch to the final stage, stage 20, there will be no such conditions, there will be worse. That is why, as we say, hurry up while we still have such an opportunity. The only thing that I want you to participate in is the early payments for installments. Pay for your installment, uh, get a 5% discount as a nice bonus, and if you have such an opportunity to invest the whole sum, that could be a great opportunity for you, because it's uh, good for so much, because right now we need money to finish construction, and it's nice for you.
хороший, приятный бонус. Плюс я ему пять способов будет бонус. Но than that, another bonus that the exchange rate of the dollar is eighty eight, and according to the predictions, well, they're not quite favorable, but many analysts think that that's still a temporary thing in banks and big financial establishments and. We think that by the end of the year it will be 100 and more. That's why now in summer, if uh, you close your installments uh, as the exchange rate of AJ, that's not spread, it will be in a month. But uh, even if it's the case, well, I don't think that's going to be a uh, long phenomenon. So we think that uh, the exchange rate will be weakening. So remember that. And uh, what else? Corporization will still be open for Russia, so participate, join, and choose a ways to manage shares. That's it. I have said everything. So I think that's it. Thank you very much. Another broadcasting will be France. Подведем какие-то итоги, расскажем новости. Не забывайте ставить лайк. Мы улучшаем мысли, мы задаем вопросы. Не забывайте ставить лайк. Это сессия. Сенди это своим друзьям и помогайте проекту развиваться. Спасибо. Лайк.